Welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite sites in Kari Magic called the Brow Reversal. So just a quick demonstration, say they pick the Ace of Hearts. We'll go ahead and place that in the middle of the spread somewhere. And go ahead and give the deck some quick shuffles. And notice that the entire deck is completely facing one direction. But if I were to turn over the entire deck like this and respread the deck, then I should be able to find your card, the Ace of Hearts, face up in the middle. So starting off, you're going to need the card you, that you want to reverse on the top. Now, in the demonstration, I just did some quick card controls, but you're not here for that. So here's the Eight of Spades, and you're going to start by catching a thumb break above the card. Kind of, the, It looks kind of like this. Okay, uh, so if you can achieve this very easily. You can kind of tilt the deck forward like this, and then kind of bring it back. Then you have your break, but you don't need to do that. I would say the main difficulty is like making sure you can hold on to this break. So I'd advise you to have it like in a biddle grip. Make sure you're not flashing any any breaks, and make sure your thumb's kind of on the bottom part. If it's on the top, you kind of risk like bending the card down like this, and like the specter can like really easily tell that there's a break there. But if I readjust it and place it on the bottom. And make sure I'm all squared up. Yeah, it's really a lot harder to tell. Uh, as long as I'm like holding it in the proper angle. It's a little different because like the camera's pointing downwards, but you get the idea. So I have the break just like this. I'm going to split off the bottom packet and turn it over. And I'm going to shift it in here, making sure I'm at the firm on this thumb. And I'll just press it in normally. But when you're first loading up, you might want to like press it in in like this motion. Kind of like this. And then you still have this wide berth. And then you'll be able to cut the bottom packet and turn it over very easily. Now, there are actually two ways that you can reverse the card. Either you have take this just turned over packet and then place it on the bottom like this. Or you can place it on the top. And you'll have the reverse card on the bottom. Or And then once you have the reverse card on the bottom, you can just cut it to the middle of the deck. And spread it like this, revealing the spectator's chosen card. Now, one last little thing I'd like to show you is that it can really be any amount of cards, as long as like it's a reasonable amount. You know, like you can't really like turn over the entire deck without the spectator noticing that you're doing something funny. But let me just show you. I'm going to locate the four aces really quick. There you go. So I have the four aces right here. I'm going to place them on the top of the deck. But instead, I'm going to hold the, th the thumb break over all four of them. I'm going to do that same turning over motion, just like this. And there you go. I have the four aces turned over. Now in an actual trick, you'll probably want to like control them to the top or retain their position or just have any kind of effect but there's a lot of cool things you can do with this reversal and honestly i don't see this used enough but it's like a really kicker ending to any to uh, any card trick anyways thank you so much for watching and be sure to be on the lookout for the next video